my top five female mangakas of all time it's subjective but i'm going to give my reasons um i'll probably butcher the names because i'm not japanese so yeah number one is uh hiromu arakawa she's the mangaka of works like silver spoon uh the heroic legend of aslan and most importantly full metal alchemist easily one of the best works of fiction animated or otherwise like it tackles themes of religion god politics war family loss and the action is amazing um the side characters are interesting it's, it's honestly just one of the best works of fiction out there it's one of my best animes and mangas of all time and uh fun fact it's one of the few shows ever in life to have 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, 9.1 on my anime list and 9.1 on IMDb. So if you haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, this is a very strong recommendation to go check it out. Number two is uh, Rumiko Takahashi. She's responsible for works like uh, Urusei Yatsura, Ranma, but most importantly, Inuyasha. Now, Inuyasha was one of those gateway animes for me growing up. Um, it's easily, again, I think, one of the best shonens to ever exist. Uh, for a lot of people, it was... For me, it was Inuyasha, One Piece, Trigon. Those were like the tsunami things I used to see that really got me into like, yo, what's happening with these shows, you know? <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's one of the OGs. She's one of the greats. She's one of the goats. And she's number two because of the kind of impact that Inuyasha had in the manga and anime world so yeah that's my pick number three is naoko takeuchi she's the mangaka responsible for sailor moon now i never watched sailor moon and if you did as a guy that's calm no shade but i do know that it did for young girls what dragon ball and dragon ball z did for young guys like me right um so she's one of the goats she's one of the ogs and you can't deny that sailor moon is definitely a big part of anime history, anime and manga history culturally. Fun fact is her husband is the creator of Yu Yu Hakashu and Hunter Hunter Togashi. So technically they're basically like manga anime royalty, like their family is manga royalty right now. So yeah. Number four is Katsura Hoshino. She's the mangaka responsible for The Grey Man. Again, a really phenomenal manga and anime. I know she had some health issues, so this serialization is a bit wonky. But it does come out kind of just not consistently. And it's I'm just grateful. <laughs> She's really good. The Grey Man is such an amazing manga and anime. The art style is amazing. The storytelling is good. The action is amazing. And it has a really good, like, I guess, blend of, like, religion, Christianity, and anime like i just i find it really intriguing i think it's amazing so yeah she's my number four pick and my number five pick is hayashida q now this was i did not know about this lady until i watched doro Hedoro. and if you've watched doro Hedoro, you know it's an amazing anime and i've read the manga and you know it's phenomenal and it's just, I never knew who she was. That's just the honest truth. But she's amazing because her work is amazing. She's old school. So probably one of the OGs, but still honestly just love her work. And she deserves all the recognition and praise. So yeah, uh, that's my top five list.